Okay, welcome to tutorial number two of our racing game. Uh, just to recap for tutorial number one, we made the track, uh, we inputted the car, and we also have this thing able to move forward now when I hit the up arrow key. It idles at five, right? It accelerates to five, I should say, then levels off and doesn't go faster than five. And we also have the ability for this thing to stop when I hit the, uh, the down arrow key, uh, simulating the car braking. Uh, what we're gonna look at in this tutorial is um, the car coasting to a stop. Uh, so if I was going forward and then I let off of the gas pedal essentially or the up arrow, um, if I let off of the up arrow it coasts to a stop. Uh, then um, also uh, we're going to give our car directional capabilities and we're also going to uh, look into having our car slow down when it touches the green or when it goes off of the road. All right, so what we're going to do is have this car coast to a stop first. So we're going to look at right here where our down arrow key is pressed. We're going to change speed by uh, negative 0.4. We're going to mess with this because where our speed is decreasing, uh, we're going to add in another element in there, um, which will have the car coast to a stop. So we're just going to take this thing, we're going to pull it down here. And instead of an if statement, we're going to embed that in an if else statement. And we're just going to say for the first part of it, just like we had before, if our down arrow key is pressed, then change speed by negative 0.4. So that's going to be our, our, our brakes, right? So that's going to still do the same thing. But what I want to do is also, if nothing is pressed, meaning if no up arrow or down arrow is pressed, uh, I want you to coast to a stop. So change speed by negative amount, but not a braking amount. We want it to be uh, significantly less. I thought negative 0.07 was about what we want. All right, so this says if the up arrow key is pressed, increase speed, down arrow key is pressed, decrease speed. But if nothing's pressed, decrease speed, but don't decrease it as much as if I hit the brakes. So we'll try it out now. So if I let go, you can see we're coasting to a stop. Okay, now that doesn't mean that uh, our brakes are disengaged, because if I ever wanted to use the brakes, all right, the down arrow key can be pressed. And we know we're going to idle there at, um, at zero, right? Our speed's never going to go less than zero. Uh, because of this thing right over here. All right, cool. So we have our car behaving the way that we want it to right now, and now uh, we're ready to give it some type of direction. So we're gonna make a new variable and call it direction. All right, when we think about direction, uh, if we look at this uh, little wheel here, 90 again is over to the right, 180 is straight down, zero is straight up, and 270 or negative 90 is over here. So we'll use those uh, coordinates when we think about uh, assigning a number to our, uh, our, our direction variable. Rather than point in direction, I'm actually going to take this thing and get that out of here. And I'm gonna say in the beginning, we're going to set our direction to 90, All right? Uh, then down here, we're gonna make a new script and say that we're going to forever point our car in the variable of direction. So we'll go up here into motion, and where's our point? Point in direction, uh, direction for our variable. Okay, so if I were turned, you're not gonna see much happen now, but this is saying set direction to 90 and point our car in direction, which would be 90, All right? So whenever we hit the, the green flag, it's always gonna point that way, which would be more evident as we start changing direction, which we can do right now. We are going to start a new script and put in our arrow keys. So anytime we hit a left arrow, we want to turn left, and a right arrow, we want to turn right. So we will put in another forever loop because we always want to have control over, um, or we always want these keys to control the car moving. So we can say, if my left arrow key is pressed, we want to change direction. Now thinking about our wheel that we had before, it's pointed this way for 90. So a left arrow key is going to decrease 90. So we're going to change our direction variable by a negative number. So when the left arrow key is pressed, we're going to change direction. I found that negative five is pretty good. <clears throat> and we'll try that out. So if I hit negative five, you can see my car moving, right? And I'm able to make left hand turns. Right? Now I wanna be able to make right hand turns. So if I duplicate this, and now we'll just have to change. Instead of left arrow, we want the right arrow, and we want the direction to increase rather than decrease. So we'll make it five instead of negative five. All right, so let's try that out. We have a right-hand turn, left-hand turn, and we can go forward. So let's take a lap around the track and see how it goes. 
cool. So this is a great time now to test out all the movements of our car. Everything is pretty much the way we want it to be, where we can coast to a stop, right? We can try our brakes, right? Brakes work good. Um, and it's a great way to, uh, even if you duplicate a lot of these things, if you have the different scripts under different flags, sometimes they can affect each other based on uh, what command may be overriding another one. So it's a good time now to test everything out and it should be working this way. If you are having problems with um, your car not acting or reacting the way you want it to be, uh, it's probably because you don't have it organized in, own, in, your, in their own separate scripts like this. There may be a way to do it all in one script, but um, I find it's easier to, for me anyway, uh, to have them all separated the way they are like this. All right, very, very cool. So we are going to bring this thing back to the beginning. And now for the last part of this tutorial, we want to have our car slow down when we go off of the road. So we are going to mess around with our speed limits over here. And we're going to put in another if statement with an embedded if else statement that says when we're touching the green, we want to slow down. We also want the other properties of the car to stay consistent, right? We want to be able to, um, you know, when, when we have the gas pedal pressed down or when we have the up arrow pressed, we want it to go forward, we want it to decrease in speed, and of course we want it to stop. So we're going to organize it in this way. And we're going to say, overall, something is going to happen if we're touching this green color. So we'll say right here for scenting, We'll say that if we're touching this green color, then we fall into this loop. All right. Now, if we're touching the green color and we're touching the up arrow, we want the speed to be decreased. If we're in the green and we're not touching any key, we want our car to decrease in speed. So we can say this. We're going to want to have an if else statement. Oh, back in my control. And we will say, if we're in the green and the up arrow is being pressed, then we're going to want to set our speed to something less than five. I think about two is good. So let me, uh, let me just put all those things in here. So if our key up arrow is pressed, all right, um, we want to set our speed I'm gonna go with two, right? We really want this thing to slow down. If we let go of our keys in here, we want this thing to also decrease in speed, coast to a stop, just like it's doing right here. So I'm actually gonna take this thing, I'm just gonna duplicate that other speed um, decrease command, and here we have it right here. All right, so we're gonna stop this, and now we're ready to get going. So if I'm going along, and then I hit this, all right, my speed goes down to zero, all right, and if I go this way, I can stop and I can keep going when I get back on the road. All right, so overall, I think we're doing pretty good here. All right, if you don't have this if else statement with this other change speed by negative 0.07 and you just have an if statement in here, what's going to happen is you're going to go into the green and it's going to be like cruise control and it's just going to set this thing to two for our speed and it's going to be doing cruise control in here which i guess you could have but i think this um, kind of gets the characteristics of the car a lot better all right so we'll give you some time get these uh new new elements put into the game uh, for the next one tutorial number three we'll get into our lap timers and um, try to get our best lap time <laughs>